I got so intrigued when I read a passage of scripture after Jesus would have separated the sheep from the gods. And he turns to his right side, his right hand, and he looks at the sheep and he says, Blessed are you of my father. <laughs> and he says, I would want you now to enter into the kingdom that was prepared for you from the foundations of the earth. Then he said, because I was hungry, you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was naked and you clothed me. Follow this, follow this, follow this. Yes, sir. I'm not really concerned about all of this because in hunger, it was food you gave. In thirsty, it was drink you gave. In nakedness, it was clothes you gave. So in all of those aspects, when you found me hungry, mm -hmm. you gave me a gift called food. Mm -hmm. You did not give your flesh to me to eat. It wasn't yourselves that you gave. Mm -hmm. When I was thirsty, it wasn't you that I drank. Mm -hmm. You gave me water. You gave me a drink. Mm -hmm. You went out and you got a gift and you gave me the gift that sustained me. But then the list keeps on going. That's where it gets more interesting. Mm -hmm. And he says, I was sick and you visited me. There's a visitation. Mm -hmm. And he went on to say, I was in prison and you came to me. Mm -hmm. What does he say? In every other aspect, you were giving me gifts. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. But it got to a point where even when I was sick, you visited me. He's not saying when I was in prison, <laughs> you visited me for the sake of delivering mm -hmm. me. No. It was <laughs> simply a visitation that he's appreciating. Mm -hmm. So it goes to show that the visitation is some kind of release mm. to the prisoner. Mm. though he remains there. Mm. I was sick and you came to me. He did not say that when you came, you brought me food. No. Mm. He's not saying when you came, you brought me medication. No. Mm -hmm. But you became the medication. Wow. It was your visit mm. that became what I desired. Mm. I recovered quicker. Oh. Not best on medical treatment. Mm -hmm. mm. I recovered. I was resuscitated by presence. Mm. This is why now when you find yourself present in the life of somebody, mm. hope comes even when you don't speak it because you are it. Mm. Don't be a misery to people. It's a terrible thing knowing that somebody right now is going through depression simply because you, you, you showed yourself up. Hey. Simply because you showed up. Why should that be? Become a representation of joy, of hope. Become an assurance When you arrive, they don't feel condemned. They feel forgiven. How do they know they have just been forgiven? Because you have come. You are there. Your presence is a gift. I've told you this before. Doctors can confirm what I'm telling you. Usually when you are sick in hospital and you don't have visitors, relatives visiting you, you are most likely never going to recover, even if you do. The recovery is very slow, unlike somebody who is having people coming to see him. What are they bringing? It's not medication because they are medication. the medication. The energy they bring, mm -hmm. the love, yes. the passion that they bring is a very important ingredient to the recovery of the sick. Start to work on yourself so that next time you appear, 
your appearance becomes the appearance of something that you are. What people have been waiting for, they must pray until you arrive. Mm -hmm. Your arrival becomes an answer mm -hmm. to their prayer. It must be confirmed that God has visited simply by your coming. Put value on your presence and you become the Lord's visitation yeah. to those people. Yeah. That's the level of value that you carry and that you are.